hey guys welcome back to six with is my name is Solani m and i am the six conversationalist if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you and thank you so much for coming back and tuning in if you're new please look around your screen i'm pretty sure there's a red subscribe button somewhere there tap on it join us and let's chat about sex baby in today's video we're having a chat about a very 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 familiar friend to me um and i'd like to think that she is very familiar to most hands most girls um her name is pregnancy scare pregnancy scares are a thing hey i can't tell you a one time where i've had sex and i was just like oh well on we go i swear for two weeks after that i am stressing i'm stressing so much that i'm thinking myself into having symptoms please tell me if you can relate also like i don't know <laughs> I don't know how to tone it down mainly because i think i should always be on alert but at the same time sometimes it's just too much it's just i just get sick now because of the stress i would really like to know how people navigate pregnancy scares like do you are you always scared you're, you could be pregnant after sex or you're only scared if you weren't if you didn't use protection or you went on contraceptives is that the only time you are scared cause me nights all the time nah uh, nah gastiva stress gastiva and gastiva consistently so much that i take like long breaks from sex because i just need to breathe i need to just have my period and it needs to come without me stressing some for a few months and my head turns a sharp way more, you know. <laughs> so and I don't like I don't think I've had a relationship that was long enough for me to be having sex consistently, you know. I think the longest relationship I had was a long distance one. So even then I could actively take breaks and just let my cycle happen without me stressing. But I'm just always on high alert just generally i'm on high alert and i don't know if it's normal i really don't know because it's like every time people are pregnant they are shocked <laughs> they are shocked and i'm just like but what, what what do you mean what did you think would happen because me every time i think pregnancy is gonna happen you know so it's just really a weird dynamic so this has been a video where I really just wanted to wing it and share just how, where I stand. Where I stand is that pregnancy scares are a thing. And further than that, they need to be so that you are constantly aware of what's happening in your body. If you're having sex, be aware of the changes in your body. Just raise up those flags and on consistently just watch yourself you know um mainly so that you can make informed decisions on time uh yeah you don't want to find yourself regretting stuff you know that's the last thing last last thing you want in your life so yeah just comment down below guys and tell me if pregnancy scares are a thing for you do you lean more towards pregnancy being a difficult thing to happen or more towards it can happen in a click of a finger um and when you when you when 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 you are in a scare how do you navigate it what do you do do you automatically go let's get into this actually what i do <laughs> guys i even do you know there's there's simple weird test, tests that you can do at home that I've watched on YouTube and apparently they work. I guess every time that I've tried it, it has been negative and I wasn't pregnant. So I don't know if I can say it works. I really don't know, but personally I start testing in every way possible. Let me tell you the 
ways that i found on the internet that i can test at home without having to buy a pregnancy test i don't recommend it i also don't not recommend it i just feel like people must do how what they feel they need to do so basically you take your urine and you pour salt i think there's also the option of pouring sugar or colgate or whatever inside the sample of your urine usually the morning urine because i don't know i don't know why so you mix that and then there's different reactions i think you guys should watch this you should maybe i should make a video about this do you want me to make a video about um home pregnancy tests that that you don't have to buy because i've seen them on youtube and so far they've been effective anyway you mixed your you mix your urine and you mix you mix your urine with the salt and then there's different reactions one means you are and the other one means you are not so i'm constantly finding the one that i'm not and later my body reacting the same um so doing that testing thing does calm me down maybe for that day you know i'll be fine i won't stress as hard um and i even like i can't wait for my cycle i just cannot just sit and say i just just wait for my period i fail every time and i try every time me i will go to the doctor and say test me I, <laughs> that lady that tests me she even knows <laughs> she knows she'll say did you have unprotected and i'll say no and then she says so why are you i'm like hey auntie i need to know i just need to know because also another thing that i've noticed the stressing the stressing also pushes your period further like away it works on your hormones so i can't rely like I, i'm just constantly just like i'm not waiting i can't wait for this period because maybe then it's not coming because i'm I, even worse guys me i will be bleeding and just say maybe this is just spotting <laughs> it's so like i think it's such a funny thing as a whole i will be bleeding on my period and i'll just say i am spotting yeah maybe this is how because i have heard people who bled while they were pregnant you know so i'm just consistently scared and once i know for sure that i'm not pregnant even when i've ta even when the sexual experience i had taken precautions and then i find out i'm not pregnant then i just start questioning my fertility like i think my head where it relates to sex and the consequences it just goes i'm just scared all the time for anything even when i know now i'm scared about something else so i'll just not be pregnant and i'm just be i'll just be like i wonder if i can have babies hey and i will get stressed 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 i don't even know how i get myself out of those mental states but it happens so yeah i just want to know how you guys navigate it when you get a pregnancy scare how do you go about it you know so basically I start by t doing these dumb home remedy testing things and if the stress doesn't subside I go do the actual test and if the stress doesn't subside then I have to wait for my period um, if the stress doesn't subside I wait for the next period it's like <laughs> it takes me basically two months to recover from one 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 instance of having sex to con to be sure and say i know i'm not having babies i'm not having a baby right now it takes me two months so i don't know if i'm doing well at navigating pregnancy scares i really wonder so yeah that's that ultimately this video was me saying that pregnancy scares are a thing and i think they should be just so that people are constantly aware of their bodies and how they function and what happens when what happens you know um further than that i also just wanted to tell you guys how i navigate it and also how shit scared i am consistently i just wanted to tell you i'm just always scared guys like not the the base in my head i'm just like but i'm mary musmanali chesu shwale nakima who am i you know so it really just freaks me out um so yeah that's how i navigate it tell me how you navigate it and when are you afraid of of when do you get pregnancy scares is it when 
is it every time you have sex because for me it is or is it when you haven't taken precautions or is it when your body you only you only think about it when you don't have a period just tell me because i think maybe i'm crazy because people are really relaxed out here and further than that they really be acting shocked when they're pregnant so let's chat about this comment down below and engage me it's been cool recording this video because i didn't really plan it so it's just flowing out of me which is similar to my first first videos when i started this channel which means that i think i'm getting back into the right headspace to shoot content which is great for you um just please engage me because also your engagement is the thing that determines whether i'm confident enough or i feel like vibrant enough to shoot these videos uh yeah anyway that is it from me if you have not honestly honestly subscribe to my damn channel if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also if you didn't like this video please give it a thumbs up i'll see you in my next video bye